mai en tan poc s'havia dit tant. Always when I'm singing Mozart operas, I think this one is the best, but for me, Le Nozze di Figaro, it's, it has so much fun, it is so vivid and it's fantastic. We're both very much aware of uh, the wedding coming up, very excited about it. We play, I would say, teenagers. Mm, yeah, I mean, and I think we know each other for a long time, huh? I service the Count. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm servicing the Countessa. Passen al llarg d'aquest dia, que són les, les noces, passen per uh, estadis molt diferents i hi ha moltes transversals, moltes relacions entre totes les parelles. La Comtessa amb la seva serventa, la Comtessa amb el Comte, no la Comtessa amb el Querubino, la serventa amb el Querubino, la serventa amb el Comte, la serventa amb el Figaro, el Figaro amb el Querubino. O sigui, totes aquestes relacions passen per molts matisos diferents. Where the Count actually, um, how do we put this? Um, gets, he has the right of the first night. So. He has the right to spend the first night with any new bride in his kingdom, in his castle, yeah. And she knows also how to manipulate the content. Certainly. Uh, as a woman, she knows exactly which buttons to press. This is one of the other grandes of this obra, that is going to be growing, and there is no limit. Every time there is more people there. It's also interesting, um, I think, Luis Pascal. Mm -hmm. He has put this piece into the 1930s yes. years because this was the last time where, you the know... The tail end of the kind of the feudal system. Uh, yes. Tu escolls una visió d'aquella obra, però l'obra és molt més gran que la teva interpretació, no conté moltes més. En la seva obra hi posa el millor de l'home, però hi ha un punt llavors, sempre hi ha un toc que ja no és del món dels homes, ja és de la divinitat. You can walk down the street and sing... And everyone, even, even people who've never even heard an opera, they say, I, I know that, what is that? And can you say that about, you know, Gangnam Style or... Uh... <laughs>